I was asked a while back to do a video showing the difference between young milkweed, young dog bane. I can't see what I'm filming very well, but this is dog bane. See, it's got this red stalk, these narrow leaves. See how they alternate this side, this side, down here. So here now we start to branch real quickly. Here's another young dog vein here. It's not got the, the red yet. There. There, there, here. Here's some dog vein. When they start getting here, you can see how red they are at that size. When they get a little tall like this, they're gonna start branching. That one, that one. Milkweed is not gonna branch like that. Here's a dog vein here. See the branching. If I find any young milkweeds, I'll show you. I think I know where I can get some. Okay, it's not gonna show necessarily well. Here's a young milkweed. Here is a young milkweed. Notice, again, we have these leaves that alternate. If I pull this one over, we are now touching a young dog vein. So you can see how red this stem is. You can see how not red this stem is. Here, you can already see it's starting to branch. Milkweed, we go to this milkweed, you can see it's not branching. And it won't branch until the very top one starts to go to seed. So until it's flowering, milkweed won't. The dog vein will. So it's kind of hard to see sometimes, but like at this size, that's milkweed. If you can't tell, wait till it's a little larger. This would be about the right size to think about eating on milkweed. And you can see that the stalk is actually thicker than the dog vein.